tricky business. Hello, Year 11. Um, time for another case study, um, an example of economic development again, another case study. We're going to be looking now at the location of industry, where industry is, in an LEDC. And we're going to be looking in Kenya. Isn't that right, Mr. Val? I'm not oh. Mr. Val, I'm Sydney! Goodness me. <laughs> looking very similar with those glasses on. Sorry, Mr. Val, Sydney. Goodness me! <laughs> right, first of all, industry can be split into four different types. Primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary. Primary industry, growing and collecting raw materials. Secondary, turning that primary product into something else, manufacturing it. Tertiary is the ideas of services. Quaternary is high-tech research and high-tech industry. So, Mr Swallow? Yes, Mr Val, Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> what industry are you in? I would be in services, which is a tertiary industry. Okay, Sydney? Oh, and so does that mean that Mr O'Rourke and Mr Vav are in a tertiary industry? They are. They are oh. also in tertiary as well. Oh. Okay. Oh. Now, we're going to look at Kenya, which is located in Africa. Kenya is on the east coast of Africa. Um, beautiful country, but also quite a poor, undeveloped country. What's the name of the ocean that's next to Kenya? That would be the Indian Ocean, Sydney. Oh. Okay. Thank you. No problem, well done. First of all, where is primary industry in Kenya? Primary industry is in the northeastern province and they keep livestock and they farm livestock there because the climate is too dry for crops. They can't grow crops there in the northeastern province, so they rear livestock. Also, primary industry is in the western province where they grow crops because there's lots of rain, so the climate is suitable there for crops to be grown. There's also mining in Magadi which is because Lake Magadi, when it dries up, produces a mineral which can be mined and can be sold um, around Kenya and around the world. Okay. Now, that's primary industry. We're now going to look at secondary industry. First of all... Just ignore me. I'm trying to make the students understand that reflectiveness is very important. It is. Lots of revision, lots of reflectiveness, looking back on things you've learnt before, so they really stick in your brain. Well done, Sydney. Next, secondary industry, there is a cement works in the coastal province because that's where you can find the limestone, which is the raw material that is required to start making cement. So they've got to base the secondary industry near to where the limestone is. There's also manufacturers in Nairobi. Do you know what Nairobi is, uh, Sydney? Well, I don't really know. I thought he played for Chelsea. No, he doesn't. No, no? he doesn't. No, oh, no, certainly not recently. Anyway, Nairobi's the capital of Kenya. Oh, so, all right, you oh something there. and it's got a funny spelling. Almost a silent A. Yes, I hadn't thought it's, that before. It's like a Nairobi. A Nairobi. A Nairobi. Whoa. <laughs> there we are. Manufacturing in Nairobi because there's really good transport links um, to get the products to Nairobi and also away from Nairobi the capital as well. Next is tertiary industry in Kenya. There's lots of tourism in the coastal province because there's lovely beaches there. There's tourism near Mount Kenya because it's the second highest mountain in the whole of the African continent. And finally there's tourism in the Rift Valley because there's lots of, lots of national parks and lakes. If you've seen The Lion King before, like I'm sure Sydney has, um, have you Sydney? No. Oh, you've missed Don't out there. Don't like Sydney. lions! Don't like lions, okay. They tend to chase me! There we are. Don't like them! Alright, thank you Sydney. You're making me very scared! Alright Sydney, sorry. I'm scared of lions! 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 There's also tourism in the Rift Valley because of the national parks and the lakes and also the lions as well. Now Sydney, ah! oh Sydney calm down. Sydney, do you know why there's no quaternary industry in Kenya. And if you didn't know what Nairobi is, Sydney, I don't think you'll know the answer to this one. No. There's no quaternary industry in Kenya because it's a really poor, undeveloped country, an LEDC, and therefore there are not the, um, there's not the money, there's not the resources to build universities and really strong education, therefore there's not the skilled labour to um, be involved in the research in the quaternary industry. Okay, Sydney? I think so. So, whereas in this country, some of our industries, particularly, quater, 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 what's it called? Quaternary. Thank you. Quaternary industries locate near our major universities. That's quite right. And we're going to look at another case study later on of the UK and where quaternary industry is in the UK. All right.
that's your next case study year 11. It is location of industry in Kenya, which is an LEDC. With reference to a case study you have looked at, explain, explain the factors that influence the location of industry